Legend of Total War here with part 94 of my Stainless Steel 6.4 Pure Hearted Crusader States Let's Play campaign. So previously, um, we fought the Teutonic Order at Magdeburg, leading to a draw, but it kind of counted as a victory because it's, uh, it's seriously weakened them. And also Kiev has declared war on us, which is great because we need a war out here. Although I did recently just pull all of my troops out of the area. So, what am I going to do about that? Can I recruit another general here? Yep. So we'll probably end up losing Riga because I left it undefended. But, whatever. What do we got here? Mola. 95% chance. You must be a good spy. Very good spy. Oh man, that's good. Alright, Vilnius. Okay, I was worried he might actually fail. Anyway, so we got an 88% chance of him getting in there. Uh, you... Oh, fuck. Well, we don't have a general in the area by the looks of it. They haven't left much forces here, so it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, with a spy in there, you probably just want to rush it. They've got Ballista Towers, Horse Breeders Guild. Yeah, we got this. How many turns left in the campaign? 273. We've still no gunpowder troops. Alright, so who am I leaving behind here? Hang on, can I send infantry from this region? Uh, yes, I can. Just not him, because he's got like... I don't know, leprosy or something. So leave behind this unit here. Yes. To battle. Ah, thank for God. Fuck, I really shouldn't have sent everything. I should have sent someone over to test it first, but luckily it worked. Um, we need nine more troops, if, if we want to make it a full stack. Okay, leave that unit behind. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no chance of a man of the hour battle here, so, or, man of the hour battle, man of the hour, through victory, because it's attacking the settlement, so we just go in and fuck him up. And we kind of need to use spies or some way to get in instantly, because these factions that only have, like, a small amount of force left, like what we had with the Byzantines, like, it's like one turn of war before they ask for a peace treaty, which is very annoying because part of the conditions are I have to accept it. Now, some people have been saying, of course, that getting into the city via a spy is less than honourable, but I would argue that it's not. It's not that bad. Alright, so... We just want to bull rush them. Okay, this is a citadel. So that's good. Good to take it, I mean. I mean, it would actually be hard to take. Probably going to take a bit of boiling oil damage. And, let's see. Do they have three entry points, or is it just a two? Got one there, then there's second over here, and then the third, they don't have one. Just two entry points. Oh, if there is, I just didn't look hard enough. Très bien. Our spy has opened the gates. It is time to move in. So, these guys here that are under attack, charge them in because we want to lock them in combat right here. If we can. Now, victory is not certain. We really need to be aggressive, I feel. Get them in there. The enemy's walls. Okay, we cut them off from the uh, from the exit. Okay, their general is pissing off over here. That's fine. See, they're already shaken. That's part of the problem. This is why we needed a general. But uh, if we just stick together, we should be okay. Fucking idiots! There. Gonna get boiling oiled all over themselves. You guys get into in there as well. Our Cut them off. The if we like this, we will smash come on, come on, you gotta keep moving. There's no boiling oil right there, right now, with the flag. Fuck it, move it, move it like you got a purpose. Most of my troops are over here. They need to, buddy, get over here. Fuck, wrong, wrong thing. Get them over here, cut off their escape. Mm, that's not good. Not a good start. Come on, motherfuckers. Where is this unit? Stupid mercenaries. Ah, oh, they're using flaming shot. Well, that'll fucking do it, won't it? Now 
it's more important that we get in here quickly, and you know, even if we do a bad battle, um, then wait around and do the siege, you know, slowly with siege equipment doing it properly. Have we going? If Five we to... True and steadfast, we're not winning. Will be ours. Got to stop their missile units from shooting. They, they should come back eventually. Would have been good if we had killed the general, but we just need to make do with what we've got here. Now if we lose Riga but take this, I consider that a good trade-off. Okay, yeah, I want to stop those missile units from shooting. Okay, now, we, now we're getting in, into business. So these guys here, um, I want to kill their general. Where, where'd he go? He's right there. Problem is, as they get tired, not, their morale's not going to be very good. I might need to send you, uh, no boiling oil at the moment, should be okay. The big problem is when uh, half of the battalions are up on the wall and half of it's not. The cavalry won't fight them properly. Cowards. So yeah, the plan is with these guys to go in and kill him so that the rest of these guys break a lot easier. Because these guys here just do not want to break. That's okay, we've got, we've got melee units, I'm sorry, we've got skirmisher units in melee, so they're not going to be able to perform quite well. It, it annoys me that they're able to shoot, even though I've got them in melee. They're coming, coming down now, so that's good. Alright, they're all good. Time to bring the general over here, because he, they're going to need, he's going to need help. Sorry about those Druzina. Oh fuck. More tricks than I thought over here. Get him in. The spies have opened the gates. Go and kill the uh go and kill the enemy general. Don't let them get back to the to the uh, the town square basically. We're shaken, so they're falling apart. And these cavalry aren't taking any damage, so that's also good. Cav uh, archers of course suck fighting cavalry. Just be careful with those. There's artillery there. So yeah, we're gonna take boiling oil damage here. Can't be helped. Try and stay as close to the walls as possible so they don't take fire from artillery. Just rush on in. How are we going over here? Okay, good. We've, we're, we're breaking them. The sooner they're down here, the better. So what are we looking at here? 51% to 10% of ours. These guys here got in the way. Dismounted boyars. I get in. Get in quickly. And the enemy general is running away again. He could come around this way, but... I don't know. He really does not want to want to fight. What's the matter? You started this war. No, you don't want to fight anymore. Bitch. Okay, we're down here. Forget about them. Get over, get over here. Help fight. Okay, you. I'm going to have you come around this side here. I if there's another faster way around to the, the back of these dismounted boyars. They might bring another unit of um, spears. The problem is, they're going to be exhausted before they go into the fight with the, uh, the general. But at the same time, we can't really afford to waste time waiting for them to recover, so they just need to suck it up. I'm sure there's Y-handers who kick their ass. there yet. You 
can go over there to provide them support. So, get over here. Actually, what I'll do is I'll have them come around the back here and hit them in the rear. Break up their formation. They won't be able to fight as well then. So, how are things going? We got 15% to 55%. So, battle's looking good. But uh, if we, if our army breaks on us, that's bad. You guys get over here as well. Okay, not too much damage from boiling oil to the cavalry. The battle is very much going. in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. General's taking a little bit of damage. What are the morale stats of them? Excellent morale. Okay, so they should... They should actually win against them. It's only 36. I want to actually get my general over there. He yeah, doesn't got to kick their ass. They're taking damage. Right? You're just going to have to run for it. Get inside. Get the St. Lazarus Knights to come around here, hit them in the rear, and they'll fight like shit. Just get your ass in there, just charge at them. They're exhausted, they can't lose any more stats than that. Oh man, that's a lot of, lost a lot of troops, but he's okay. Get over here, this is probably where you'll be needed the most. The morale here, oh, it's actually not really holding that well. You, charge into them. Of course they don't charge, but that's okay. Oh, hang on. Our Three last second they charged. If we continue like this, we will smash Mons Wassigny. Our men have taken control of the castle. And because they didn't get a charge, we now have the advantage. But they're still able to do a lot of damage because they're fresh and we're exhausted. Our men no longer come out. You're going to need it over here. Okay, we'll have him come around the back and try and charge into their rear. Okay, we clearly destroyed that unit, and now these guys, what are they going to do? Well, we'll go over there and fight them. Get around them and attack. They didn't charge, but that's okay. Hitting them in the rear now, they're just about surrounded. We've got them. units you come over here I want to get him up on the wall to attack that it might help with breaking them move it I can't use them they won't, they won't fight units at a half on the wall our men are winning the battle if we continue like this we will smash the enemy still haven't killed the enemy general yet he just does not want to die but he won't last much longer Adieu. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. I oh know they're just not going up there. Ah, it doesn't matter. We won the battle this anyway. This is an act heroic which only belongs to men of great virtue. So we lost about the same amount of men than, as they did, but that's that's fine. I mean, we just assaulted a citadel. They could have done a lot more to hold us back. Victoire in your name, my lord. No, can't sack it. Victory. These lands are yours, seigneur. Plenty of horse breeders good. We don't need that.
Alright, so we need to accept the fact that we're probably going to lose Riga, but if that spy can get into uh, Hrodna, maybe we can take that one as well. Now, even though you suck complete balls, I'm going to have you... Mm, actually, no, it's a good idea if you command these forces. You're a shit general as well. Oh, I'm going to take all of these... Let me see if I can recruit something different here. Those are free upkeep. Wait, so are pikes. Take all of these units. Uh, except for the general. Move them to here. Okay, they can use some more reinforcements. We don't need that for it. So like I said, they'll probably take that settlement. There's nothing we can really do to stop that. We can have a, have a look at what they've got though. Yeah, we don't stand a chance. I'll need to raise a force to come down here and fight it. No. Need a ship. And what about over here? Actually, we've got forces here as well. They do have plague though. He's just here to have a look at what they've got. I don't actually intend to bribe them or anything. Because these guys look like they're heading over here. But I don't think we got them. Alright, who else are we at war with? No way. Okay, that needs to be dealt with. Also, we're at war with... Uh, when did that happen? Kingdom of Denmark. Ah, okay. Well, that's not really too much to be worried about. Let me just have a look here. Uh, we're better off waiting for them to attack, to be honest. Could hold that defensively quite well, I think. Now, there's no point really attacking their armies head on, but then again, if they besiege our settlement here, with all these forces, they might be able to take it. Just want to make sure I've got appropriate forces to defend against them. Am I recruiting anything here, or was there, was there nothing available? No, there's stuff here. I don't know if we want to hire that unit, but it, just anything will do. Just need meat shields, really. These would make great Ready units able. for uh, for forts, so I might actually try and get some of them out. The ones that are really cheap. Cost one, that costs none. But I think that cost none in the first place. Twenty-two, just go with them. Let's get them out and over to Prague. Alright, this force over here, the problem with it is just, it's such a crap force. If it is a fight There's you some wish. Danes in the way Come here. Closer. You have something for France? We can't get to any of their settlements. Well, I got, we got a spy here. On my way. Just trying to have a look at what they've got. <sighs> if we could get in there, that would be great. I could send him back. That's right, we were going to try and deal with the Scots as well. Now, we've got a spy in here, but I don't know. We should probably try this one first. Okay, this spy, if you can get in there. 89% chance of opening the gates. Okay, come over here, join with his fleet. We've still got enough movement that we could possibly hit that one as well. Now, I don't know for a fact that this gate is going to be open, so let's see. Let's grab a unit that doesn't matter so that if it gets sacrificed, it's not a big deal. That, that unit there doesn't matter anymore. 
Oh, then again, be good for, um... Uh, what's it called? Um, holding a fort. Gates open, so it doesn't matter. I'm only here to fight the Yagaloot. I'm gonna have to go all the way around, unless I want to fight that army out in the field first. Which will make that battle, I guess, marginally easier. But to be honest, we could just rush in there and kill all them. I'm only here to fight the Yagaloot. Could always take that another turn. Okay, there's mercenaries in the area. Mercenary revolt, totally useless. Closing to engage. We'll be fine. Give the order and we will strike, Seigneur. Okay, so the balance of power here is only just in my favor. We'll we'll deal with these guys here first, obviously, because they're gonna come in. They're gonna come in from the east. So let's defeat them, capture them. Of course they'll need to be released, but that's fine. And then we can just deal with the soldiers that are inside the city. And thanks to the effort, I suppose, of our defense of the city, which of course didn't wasn't successful, but these guys are so weak now without William Wallace that they can't bloody... They can't resist me. Okay, so they're going to show up right here. I need to reorganize my forces. Then I need to have missile troops. Okay, I don't have that many melee troops, which is kind of a bummer. Which means we might have to rely on a little bit of... Well, I've got plenty of cav. I think with this first fight here, we'll try to rely on our cavalry and our missile units to do as much damage as possible. Because we'll need these guys to get in afterwards. And if they're going to start anywhere, it'll be slightly over here. The red line is right, right there. Don't want to get too close to it. But basically, we want to get these guys in combat pretty much straight away. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Okay, I didn't line it up perfectly, but that's okay. Can do that. It before these guys have a chance to organize themselves, we descend upon them. And they'll teach these Scots for declaring war on us. I'm coming straight for my archers there, but it doesn't really matter that much. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. What's this over here? Height, Highland Pikemen. We'll, we'll definitely want to shoot them. So how about you focus fire on this over here? Fitted those calves, that's fine. Yep, yeah, definitely shoot them. Okay, for the most part, this army here is destroyed. They're just rushing to the towns, town center because they don't know what else to do. Don't let them get inside, it'll just make it harder to fight them. They have lost half their men. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue okay, time for you guys to start moving in to enemy. get ready to attack. Even though we're not quite finished here. So we didn't capture too many of them, so a lot of them are still going to die. I mean, still a lot of them out here, but we're shooting them.
against it, cut them off, and there's no one here to defend the city. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. So what do they got here? Trebuchet. Trebuchet and something else? No, just trebuchet. Go kill them. Kind of feels like these guys were like, were like a bunch of raiders that uh, took a settlement without real justification from a bunch of militia, and then the real army shows up and absolutely fucking destroys them. That's what this feels like to me right now. This is pure justice. And horse sandwich, Adios. motherfucker. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Don't let them get away. Bring the archers up right behind them. Because they're moving really slowly. These guys just get just a little slower. Bet you guys are done now. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Our cowardly foe runs. We right, must that's the first army advantage. destroyed. Did you manage to kill them all, or did they run away? Because if they run away, I'm going to be pissed off. Our men are winning the battle. Looks like if you killed them. I see the like trebuchet this, crew. We will smash the enemy. Then now what? And we could just send the send the soldiers in just to fight them. But it would be best if we could maybe use up a few of our bit of ammunition that we've got left. Problem is that guys are a little bit tired. But that's alright. I mean if these guys get killed, whatever. You guys start making your way over here as well. Make sure they've got my guys have got back up. These two here would be completely useless in this situation, I think. So let's see what they want to do. They want to come at us? Yep. Pull back. And of course, they're too slow. Doesn't matter. Not too many of them died. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. They put you yep, over here. Continue shooting them. No, no, no. What I tell you? I said, stay put. Come over here. You need to worry about their charge now. Shooting. There's not really killing that many of them. Even though it's crossbows shooting right into their face. Well, maybe we need to be shooting into the back. Another general over here. 
helping our guy over here. See if I can make use of it just a little bit more. Shooting. Okay, good. Now pull back and let these guys fight. Fuck you. Oh, feel that. Get in there. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Good. Don't pursue them. Just, just leave it. Right, where's my archers? Still got a few rounds left. Let's see if we can shoot them just a little bit more. I mean, I probably could send all my melee units over here now to finish them off. But still, if we could save a few more of my lives, because we've we've got a we've got a decent number of tro uh, enemy troops to have to get through, and we we don't really have much reinforcement, so we've got to keep fighting as best we can. is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay, the thing is with these urban spear militia, they're high defense units, but they don't have much attack. So our guys are just carving our way right through them. It's the, uh, the stuff the like the Volgia is doing all the damage. Rotted. So they have a look, effective against it. armor, and they've got a decent attack in the first place, so... These guys fight much better in cities than they do out in the field. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Another bit Oh, it's just that other urban militia. Get into the combat here, and we've got him. Hopefully, at least. Yeah, but you come round the back here. The Ram into his ass. You like this, we will smash the enemy. Our men have taken control of the city. So we, lo we lost a quarter of our army to destroy them, which is pretty good considering I mean, we outpowered them by a little bit. Which only belongs to men of great we lost 24% and, right. and there's also mercenaries that we can go and get, which we probably will need. I don't think we'll be able to make it to their other city this turn. I think we just used up too much movement getting here. Seigneur, we have claimed this day. I doubt we're able to recruit anything here. No, we can recruit Ballista, which is less than useless. So that's good. We're taking our shit back. There is no way they're going to have enough movement to get to Aberdeen. However, you, 
You could make it there at least. 95% chances of getting inside the city. Do not fail me. Good. 93% chances of opening that gate. The other guy's not going to be able to, but that's fine. Now this army he that's here. I'll wrap off your head and spit on your uh, neck. Next turn I can fight it just to shut the piss off, really. Yeah, just out of curiosity, I could bring in some more reinforcements from over here as well. So we've got hang on, let me just grab the general. An honor. And hire these mercenaries. I don't want the mercenary revolt. Jeez, not much in there. And then we'll send in three lots of other troops. I just send garbage because yes. we do need to pretend. Uh, we need to Orders. pretend. We do need to protect that region, York, against the English as well. So we can't just send everything that we've got. I hate hiring those units. They they're so useless. And who else will we at war with? Wait, we're at war with the Teutonic Order. But they didn't besiege uh, Magdeburg. Well, if they're not besieging the settlement, then I really don't care what they're doing. Mm, I hate these units. But I'm going to get them just because we're, we're low on troops. Anyway, I think we'll end the video there. So the situation is, of course, looking good. We gained two settlements. Gained one of our old settlements back. We'll gain Aberdeen next turn, hopefully. And if we're lucky as well, we'll also gain Herodna. We're probably going to lose Riga, though. Did I train a spy here? No. Well, they're the Kievan Ruse. They're, they're running on fumes right now. They're fucking finished. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 95 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.